The Law Society of Kenya is offering to mediate in the dispute over the retirement age of judges. LSK President Isaac Okero says the country could be staring at a judicial and constitutional crisis if the resolution of the retirement age is left to the Supreme Court. As the Supreme Court prepares to hear an appeal by Deputy Chief Justice Kalpana Rawal and suspended Supreme Court Judge Philip Tunoy, challenging a recent Court of Appeal decision that affirmed the retirement age of all judges as 70 years. The Law Society of Kenya has weighed in on the dispute with an offer to mediate the standoff. Rawal, now aged 70, and Tunoy, who hit 72 earlier this year insists they were hired under the old constitution that set the retirement age of judges at 74. I have reached out and spoken to both parties to offer the Law Society of Kenya to lead a process of mediation that avoids risking upon the judiciary and the country a constitutional crisis. Both have expressed openness to this initiative. But with Justices Rawal and Tunoy technically barred from sitting on the bench handling the retirement age dispute and with the Supreme Court now staring at a quorum crisis with only four judges available to hear the appeal after the retirement of Chief Justice Dr. Willy Mutunga in June this year. The LSK is now asking the parties in the dispute to question whether their respective headland positions are worth placing the judiciary and the country in the present precarious position, bordering on a constitutional crisis. There must be found a resolution to this matter that does not destroy the institution of the Supreme Court of Kenya and undermine the credibility of the judiciary. The proper functioning of the court is critical to the administration of justice. Under extreme circumstances such as the present case, the Supreme Court can still sit without the mandatory quorum of five judges pursuant to the doctrine of necessity. The doctrine of necessity, already stretched to its absolute limit, cannot be repeatedly cited to justify the continued function of the Supreme Court of Kenya in defiance of established judicial norms. Some have begun to question the rationale of the existence of the Supreme Court of Kenya. This happens as the JSC prepares to hold a crisis meeting on Monday over the dispute with some reports hinting that the JSC will debate disciplinary action over judicial officers who allegedly frustrated lawyers seeking audience with Supreme Court Judge Njokin Dungu. At the time when Justice Rawal and Tunoy were filing their appeals on Friday last week, now the former leadership of the LSK under the presidency of Eric Mutua had already affirmed the JSC position. The judges retire at 70 and therefore the present offer by the LSK to mediate the dispute will no doubt raise varied reactions from the parties in the appeal. Mureni Mwangi, KTN News in Nairobi.